we often get asked, which package do I need? So I figured I would review the packages for executives just to give you an idea of which one might be the best fit for you. Um, you know, for the 499 package, if you just need a resume, that's the best one for you. If you need a rush, 24 hour, 48 hours, you can check one of these boxes. Um, if your LinkedIn doesn't look great, uh, you want that to match up, you want some SEO done, you want that to be found a little more often by the headhunters on LinkedIn. And I'm saying that because I own a handful of recruiting companies as well, along with Employment Boost. And, you know, I'm spending, you know, 100000 plus a year on LinkedIn services for the headhunters. Um, probably the number one spot where you're going to be found right now. So to make sure your LinkedIn profile has top-notch keyword indexing, make sure you got the right photo. We'll do a custom top banner for you. Um, add the LinkedIn and probably a great investment. That's going to be the gift that keeps on giving. Um, this is good for, you know, directors. If you're a manager, you want to become a director, depends what size company you're at. You know, if you're at a smaller company, you might be a director, which at a big company that might be a manager, for example. But anyone that's trying to get in that, that executive suite, this is where we want to start. Um, going to get a 90 day interview guarantee, which most of the time, if you got a good career background with our resume, you're going to knock that out of the park. 60 minute call, one on one intake. Uh, you know, all of our writers are in the United States. They got bachelor's degrees or certified. Um, none of this automated online portal stuff. It's uh, we're real human beings doing one on one work like professionals. Um, like I just said, we got certified writers, couple um, revision rounds. Um, you know, you've been doing your career for 10, 15, 20 years. You can't expect any resume, resume writer on the planet to understand all the ins and outs of your career in uh, the one hour they know you. So we know that we need to go back and forth a couple times to make sure that we get all the revisions done and make sure everything's aligned and you're happy with that. Um, unlimited communication. Again, we're right here in the United States. We're all over the place. Um, Detroit, Cleveland, Denver, Chicago. We're just about everywhere at this point. Um, can do it over the phone, can do it over email, can do it over video conference. If you're somewhere we have an office and COVID's not an issue, you can come in and talk to us in person. Um, if you're an executive, you know, I had a, a friend that worked at a very large corporation. He's 50 something years old, took a buyout, gives me the call. He's like, what should I do? Should I take the buyout, not take the buyout? And then we said, okay, he's going to take the buyout. But I'm like, you might be out of work for 12 months just because of your age. And come to find out he was out for a little over 12 months. And, uh, you know, we got a plan in place to say, how can we fight ageism? How can we modify your resume, your photo, what kind of clothes you're wearing? There are things that I worked with him personally on as a friend, because I understand what's going on in the market right now. Um, so having a resume style that doesn't look like it's from 1984 certainly helps. It doesn't need to be super modern either. That can give completely the wrong vibe. You just want a clean, well-articulated -art resume. Page count, you know, unless you're... You know, Bill Gates, two pages can get it done. We live in a Twitter age. I had a Fortune 100 executive tell me that if he could, um, you know, text his resume or write it in a tweet, he would. That's how much, you know, keeping it brief and to the point matters in this world. Turnaround day, three to seven days. That just depends on how fast you get back to us, right? If we send you a re revision and it takes you five days to get back to us, it's going to stretch it out. Um, if you want to move faster, you know, Go do the 24, 48 hour rush and make sure you're on top of things. We're going to keyword optimize it. Um, I came from the technology world. I own a company that actually does search engine optimization. We understand SEO very well. I wrote our first applicant tracking system for the recruiting companies I started. So I am well aware of what it really takes to do SEO. I'm not just throwing around buzzwords. Um, you know, we pass the resumes around to the executive recruiters because they know what's going on. They got the pulse of the market. They know what's working and what's not working right now. Um, these are things you just can't learn at a resume writing workshop. Um, when you're dealing with the C-suite all day or the executive hiring community on boards, you got some great, much greater insights than what the average recruiter does. 
going to throw in that cover letter for this package. You might need it, you might not. Um, if you're local, you got a normal career, no questions asked, don't really need the cover letter unless someone's asking. Um, returning to the workforce, relocating, if you're transitioning to a different field or career, cover letter is where you address that. Um, people don't seem to understand that, but as someone that is you know, working in the executive search space, I own a half a dozen different companies and brands, I'm an investor, um, you know, we look at that cover letter if I know someone, if I, if I get a job in Houston and this resume is in Minnesota, I look at the cover letter to see if it addresses that, hey, I'm relocating. That's where you want to get that done. And then, you know, you get the Word, PDF, formats, everything you need to get that wrapped up. Everything you need to just get a, a nice little package together, get you out, try to get the uh, next big jump done. Obviously... You're going to be, what, 600 bucks if you throw in the LinkedIn. Throw in a 24-hour rush. You know, it's it seems expensive to some people. An executive, probably not so much. But, you know, we'll go spend, as executives, two, three, four, five hundred bucks on dinner. We won't think about spending 500 bucks to help us land a career that might get us ten or twenty or $30,000 more. Very small investment for... Um, kind of the gift that keeps on giving. Um, investing in yourself is never a bad idea. Um, this package bumps it up. We're going to do some coaching with reputation management on this side. So you get everything that's in the first package, and then you're also going to get more revisions. You know, if some people are a little bit pickier, you got a more complicated career, that helps. You might need them, you might not. Rep reputation ebook. <laughs> You know, we did this because I've seen so many people screw up their careers by uh, not thinking about what their online reputation looks like. And uh, the last thing you want to do is lose a job because you left something out on Twitter or maybe uh, you had the wrong email address. And uh, I can elaborate that on another episode. But there's just things you want to do to make sure you don't trip yourself up. So you get that ebook. Personal branding called Daggerfin's another company I own that does um, employer branding, PR strategy, personal branding development. They'll help you figure out that what kind of path, what kind of presence do you want to have online? What's the perception? Um, not everything's just wait on a resume anymore. You got to expect that any headhunter, um, HR, talent acquisition, or you know, even the hiring manager executive, they're probably going to go Google you. What do they find when they Google, Google you? That can matter. Job search coaching. Do you understand how to play the game? If you've not changed jobs in 10 years, things have changed a lot. So talk about, about, about how you apply online to different portals, to different systems, to different websites. Um, you learn how to play the game so you can be more efficient and try to win. The more you understand the rules of the game, the better chance you have to win. Likewise, interview coaching. Um, the last thing you want is to get the interview at the company you wanted to work for, and then you go in and blow it <laughs> because you couldn't answer a couple of questions the right way. We help touch that stuff up. And a thank you letter, if you're an executive, you understand that anytime you've ever interviewed anybody, getting that thank you letter is always nice to have. Also a great time that, again, if let's just use relocation as a... As an example, if you're interviewing for a job that's going to relocate and you feel like they might have been hesitant that you might not relocate, thank you letter is a good time to say, hey, I'm really excited to move to Houston. And that gives them the reassurance, right? A lot of times it's not just a thank you letter. It's an opportunity to go back and reassure them of the things that you think they might be concerned about. Then we got the big package. People buying this, are uh, they tend to either have rapid plans for growth in their career. They're just coming out of, uh, you know, B-school. They're trying to make a jump to another, you know, for, you know going from uh, another Fortune 500, trying to get into a startup. Big plans for growth. You know, they want to be, you know, 10 years ahead of their career. And, you know, it's going to cost a couple grand to do that. Get everything in the first two packages, obviously. Also going to get, you know, more revisions if you want to nitpick. We want to go back and forth, try to touch things up. 
you need them, you need them, you don't, you don't. Two to four pages, we can extend this out. You know, maybe there's another page we want to add on to talk about some different things. Um, and you get a one-page biography, which, you know, if you're at that higher level, you can use that biography in a couple different places. You can use it as a piece of online capital. You can have it on your profile. If you're uploading your resume to certain databases, that profile's nice to have. It gives you the feeling that you're one step above. Um, visibility and PR. We try to get your name out in some PR or some content. Again, when HR and talent acquisition and the hiring manager or the hiring committee Googles you, what do they find? Now, if they find you in media somewhere, it makes your profile look of a little more value. Um, weekly check-in. We do this on our outplacement services. We do it on our performance coaching to help you become a better employee, to uh, just help you climb the ladder faster. But for here, we're going to check in for up to 12 weeks just seeing what's going on. Is there any questions? How things are going? It's kind of motivational, but also try to answer any questions. Are you struggling with a certain website? Do you need some information? You know, what should you do? Different actions? Should you target different companies? Um, we're going to be there for you. And that's why the cost ends up being so expensive on this package, because it's just time at the end of the day. And time costs money. Company leads, you know, another part of our group of companies, which we own quite a few, we own a research company, they're going to go out and actually find you some contact information of some big hitters where we can just get you to send your resume right to them. No applicant tracking systems, you're not waiting for a job ad, um, just trying to drop your resume to the right person at the right time. So they'll go out and do their research and they'll provide you with some of those leads. Who knows, you might get lucky sometimes. So it's one of those things that if you're applying to a job online, you know a bazillion people are applying. What if you just dropped your resume to the right HR person or the right president at the right time and you just, you get a job. It's like buying that house that wasn't even listed on the market yet. Like someone you knew had an inside connection and you were able to buy a property that was completely off market. That's what we try to do with the company leads. You're trying to just get to a job before it's ever listed. And then the uh, pre-interview prep, and I like this. We did this a lot on, uh, and well, we still do this, on our uh, big searches for like management consulting companies, a lot of the uh, C-suite type searches, board searches, we'll, uh, we'll spend some time, and this is for the recruitment companies we own. You know, we try to give the candidate uh, some prep, get them all the information they need, um, just get them ready to walk in and kill it. And we'll do that same thing for you here. Um, again, it's it's not that you'll never get a job again. Someone will always hire you. No one stays unemployed forever if you're unemployed. The question is, are you going to get the job that you really want at the company you want? Um, you don't want to walk into the company you want to work for and it's your dream job and then blow it. The thought is we want to give you every opportunity possible to win that thing. Um and we don't want to lie to ourselves. It's, uh, you know, we blow that great opportunity and then, you know, the next company hires us and we go, oh, you know, someone still hired me. The question is, did you get hired by the company you wanted to get hired? Are you where you want to be? And uh, that's why these, like, the middle package and this bigger packages, I got some grand, some grander plans here. I'm really trying to make some stuff happen. And this is great for anyone that just needs a resume, LinkedIn. Great resume. Going to get in front of people. You, going to keep things moving. This is, I want, I'm, I'm shooting a little higher. I'm really, I want to get into Google. I want to get into Tesla. I want to get into uh, Boston Consulting. I want to get into that startup. Um, I, I got bigger plans here. I want to, I want to be where my father was at 50. I want to be there when I was 38. You know, it's, this is the kind of investment that you're going to make over here. And no guarantees on that. It's just, uh, you're trying to buy some resources and consulting and some insights to help you just achieve things faster. So if you have any questions, give us a call over here. We uh, try to get back to you as fast as possible. Usually during business hours, we'll get back to you within one hour. And uh, if you have any other questions, contact form, call us. We'll take care of you. But that's all I got for this episode. I'm going to catch you on the next one.